And we're live. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jose Trujillo, and today I want to share with you five tips. Okay, my my top five tips for selling your artwork. I know that I know that a lot of artists are in that place where where you're ready to move on to the next step, right? You're 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 being an artist. You know how to create whatever. You know how to you know how to paint. You know how to sculpt. Maybe I don't know. And you're at a place where you know that that you need to start moving into that direction where you can actually monetize from your artwork. There's a lot of people out there who are like, dude, I don't care about monetizing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, maybe this is not for you or maybe this is not for you yet. So here we go. Uh, my five top tips for selling your artwork, okay? For selling artwork. Tip number one, tip number one is you want to decide that you want to sell the artwork. I know that this is obvious. But believe it or not, some, some, uh, more than some artists want to, would love to sell artwork, but haven't, haven't detached themselves from the work yet. They would love to get to a place where, man, I, I'm, I'm selling my work. I want to sell my work, but they haven't detached themselves. And this is a big, big fucking problem because you go through life as being an artist with the idea that you're going to sell, but you place this huge sentimental value on your work. So tip number one is that you want to decide to sell your work. You got to make the decision. It's a decision, guys. And a decision doesn't take years, months, minutes. A decision is instant. You want to sell or not, right? So you can detach yourself from the work. That's very important, okay? This is very matter-of-fact uh, stuff here, okay? Uh, tip number two. Tip number two is have a body of work. Now, when I mean have a body of work, I'm not talking about have a cohesive body of work. Make sure that it looks like 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 all of it. This is real life. It's not Instagram, guys. I know there's a lot of artists out there that are like, man, if you paint flowers, make sure that they all look cohesive. And oh, yeah, that's nice. That that kind of stuff gets you likes on Instagram or gets you subscribers on Instagram. That's not real life, guys. Real life, it, uh, artists change and evolve. And if you don't have a style, a set style, I want to say this. It's fucking okay. It's okay if you don't have a style. Like, quick, quit, quick. <laughs> quit looking for a style. Quit trying to find the style. It doesn't, it's not, it's, that's not real, that's not, it's not real life. It's not how it works. When you're an artist, you evolve and you move and it's dynamic. It's dynamic. It's dynamic. You, you're not you're not stagnant, you know? It's not like, oh my god, I'm the I'm the guy who paints trees and I want to be known for the guy who paints trees like this guy right here. No, it doesn't work like that. Uh if that's you, totally cool. You know? Like stick with it. But that's not everybody. And I wanna say this because so many artists believe that they have to have a cohesive style, the same color palette, and on and on and on. We're not robots, we're artists. Some days I just wanna paint with all pink. And other days I wanna paint with all blue. And other days I just wanna use grays. You know, and this is why I love a, a lot of the, the, the expressionist artists, like, like uh, I don't know, abstract expressionist, and I, I love Willem de Kooning, I love Picasso, because they moved, they moved, they morphed, right? You, we could see that, we can, we can even see that with impressionists, they start out very, very uh, classically trained, of course, right, very realistic for what was considered realism during that time, and then moved on and moved on and moved on until we had, like, strange versions of post-impressionism and fauvism, even with the first impressionist in their later years. Uh, just look at Monet's... Uh, Giverny when paintings when he had a cataracts. <laughs> Anyways, that's tip number two, okay? Have a body of work. Now, it has to be a substantial body of work, guys. You can't be like, man, I want to sell my artwork and have five paintings. It doesn't work that way unless you have a huge, a huge, a huge amount of following. If, like, half of the world knows you and then you have, like, three paintings, uh, you're probably, uh, you're, you're going to need more paintings, but it's a good start. <laughs> so, half of the world doesn't know you. So have a lot of body work. Have a good body work. Besides, when you have a good body work, you learn. You're stretching yourself. You learn. It. Again, being an artist, it's not like Instagram. It doesn't have to be oh, the same sizes, the same style. No, you graduate to those things. You kind of graduate to that. If you want to, if you don't want to, you can you can Picasso it. You can be a. Uh, you can be classical one day and 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 deconstruct the whole thing the other day. And 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 your followers. 
are going to understand that about you. Now, your followers may be like, oh my God, that's strange. What an art, what, what artist does that? Because they're, because, because they've been, uh, many of them, they've been giving the, the, the same juice, right? Of the same Kool-Aid. They've been drinking the same Kool-Aid about an artist should do this A, B, and C, but that's not what artists do, guys. It's, it, it's, 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 uh, it's ludicrous. I don't know why people keep spreading that lie. Anyways, okay, that's tip number, th number two. Have a body of work. Tip number three, choose an avenue. Choose a sailing avenue, okay? These are five tips. Again, for those of you just getting getting on, on online right now, I'm doing an Instagram Live. If you are later watching it on YouTube, please don't complain of my style of delivering awesome content, please. Like, if you don't like it, just be like, okay, bye-bye, bye. Bye, bye butters, bye, right? Uh, so tip number three is choose an avenue, okay? You got to choose a painting, a uh, painting, uh, a selling avenue. This does not matter at this point, Okay. It could be galleries, mom and pop, pop-ups, whatever. It could be online platforms. I got my list right here. That's why I'm looking this way. It could be social media, okay? Instagram, Facebook, whatever. YouTube, YouTube, social media too. I mean, come on. Let's keep it real. Uh, and whatever, right? They, they go together or they go separate. It doesn't matter. When I mean choose a, a, an avenue, it doesn't mean marry it and you will never do anything else again. You know, this is not like, like marriage in, I don't know, 100 years ago, I think. More than 100 years ago, where it was very difficult to get away from that person. <laughs> I think today is extremely very difficult, but but now it's uh, it's like, it's it's like courts and shit like that. Where before it was a church. The church didn't let you go. Now the courts don't let you go. The courts. Some people are like, I'd rather. Well, that's a whole other. <laughs> I'd rather live with a person than go through court. <laughs> so it doesn't mean you have to marry it, guys. Okay? Choose a platform. Any platform will do. I don't care. eBay. Etsy. I do eBay. Etsy. Sachi Art. I do Etsy and Sachi Art. Uh, Fine Art America. I'm doing Fine Art America. Whatever. Choose one. Get it. And, and, and like, go boss to the walls with it, guys. Like, go hard. Kick its ass. This is, well, this is what's wrong a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the times with artists. They're like, man, I'm going to go try Etsy. No, like, you don't go try it. You go, you go with the intention to kill it, to pound it, to kick its ass. It's, you're either going to kick its ass or it's going to kick your ass. Okay, and that's how you're gonna learn. You're gonna start looking at it and you'll be like, oh my god, I've tried this a hundred different times and it doesn't work. That's when you make the switch, right? That's when you you tweak, you tweak, or you or you learn from someone. I don't know, there's people out there, uh those people that know usually, not usually, they charge. They don't you're not gonna learn it on YouTube. Come on. Uh so but choose one avenue, okay? Choose one avenue, and then you can stack avenues. What I mean by that is Choose, uh, if you choose Etsy, go hard, like go, go gangster on Etsy, you know, like, ah, go hard. And then once you figure that out, you, you, you get, you get social media and then, you know, Facebook or whatever, and then you stack it and then you go hard on that. And then once that starts, you know, moving, you take another one and you stack it. And that's, that's what's going to start helping you guys. You got a great sense of humor. <laughs> Thanks. So, okay, that's tip number three. These are five tips to, to selling your artwork. My five tips, okay? These are my personal five tips, okay? So tip number four, build a list, an audience. You got to build an audience. I cannot stress this shit hard enough. Many people out there are like, oh my God, yeah. Get followers and blah, blah, blah. That is not a list. That is not a list. That's an audience. That's a good thing. As soon as you build an audience, you got to build a list though, okay? What I mean by that is, look, if you show up enough and give enough content, valuable content to what people in that audience, in that group, right? Like an Instagram, if they believe that what you're giving them is, is, is uh, muy macho, valuable content, if they believe that that's what you're giving them, uh, they're going to start gathering and be like, oh my God, look, there's some fire here. Let's go check it out. You know that you're the fire, right? Your content, you're burning. You're like, yeah. Uh, they're going to start, they're going to start going around you huddling and be like, oh my God, I want to listen to this. Okay. That's an audience. That is not a list. This is why a lot of artists have a, have a hard time selling their work because 
What if Instagram changes? Your audience, now you're going to have to go take some of that audience or go find another platform where you can find another audience. See, so you end up building audiences. This kind of shit happened to me. And it's no bueno. It's no bueno. Although it's quick, easy way to start selling your work. It's not sustainable. You got to make a list. And what I mean by a list is a list of emails or phone numbers or addresses or whatever. But there has to be a list that uh, everybody keeps saying that the power right now as of 2018 is still in the email list. And I would I would agree with it. I would agree with it. That and and, and marketing like uh, paid paid advertising. I would agree with that. Anyways, that's a whole other thing. Okay. Uh, tip number five, tip number five. Okay. Oh, before I go to tip number five, tip number, number four on building an audience guys. Okay. Building an audience is, uh, is, uh, before I jump, let me, let me, let me tell you a little something else about, about building an audience. If you show up consistently, persistently with enough content that they believe it's valuable, you will build an audience. Okay. You cannot show up. I've done this. I've done this mistake horrifically where i just show up and i'm like yeah it's value it, but but if they don't think it's value they they just they brush you off right they have to think it's value you can think it's value and you could be like oh my god I, I i've learned something so cool but if they don't think it's value it's worthless okay so you gotta you gotta figure out what what do they think it's valuable what do you think is valuable okay they think this is valuable they think this is valuable regardless of what you think is valuable that's how you build an audience. You got to go find out what their pains are and deliver on that. Okay. I did this horrifically until I started learning how to do it. And I'm still learning how to do it. Okay. Tip number five. Tip number five. Be patient up here, but be a fucking beast in motion. Okay. You got to be a beast in motion. You got to be patient while moving fast and hard. What do I mean by that? Exactly what I just said. You got to be patient in your mind, but you got to keep moving and you got to keep moving fast and hard. Meaning don't stay too long in a single endeavor. Move like you're in a hurry. It's okay. I know it's counterintuitive. I know people say, oh no, be patient. It's all going to come together. It ain't going to come together if you don't put it together. Come on, let's be honest here. The only way it comes together, it's like, it's like, I'm going to use the cliche example, right? It's like, I, my goal is to look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club, right? All cut and shit. So it's like me saying, oh, man, I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to get a bag of Cheetos here. I'm going to be patient until I start looking like Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going to work out. You know, I'm going to do my thing. But I'm going to, it's all going to sort. It's all going to sort out. Anyone that spends two hours a day on the gym is going to make fun of me. They're going to be like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? It doesn't work that way. You got to. You got to check what you eat. You got to check what you drink. You got to check your mindset. You got to check your exercise routine. You know, and you, and you got to move hard. Because that's with everything. Just keep swimming. I think you said before. Totally, Emily. Totally. Just keep swimming. Uh, Noreen says, I try to be patient, but how do you keep yourself from being impatient? The way that I found to, to keep... To stay to, to keep yourself from being impatient is to is to move. Many times when we become impatient is because we stagnate. If you keep moving, right, then this rests. This rests your mind. Like if you're if if you're like if you're like, oh my god, what do I do next? That's when you become impatient. That's when you start, you actually start becoming furious many times. Because you're sitting there and you're like, oh my God, okay, it's so overwhelming. I got to do this and I got to create work and I got to build an audience. Oh my God. But if you're like, oh, okay, well, tip number one from Jose Trujillo for selling artwork is decide that you're going to sell your artwork. Okay. All right. I made the decision. All right. Tip number, th number two is have a body of work. And then you ask yourself, do I have a body of work? Oh, check. I have a body of work. Okay. And if you don't, then you go... Get your little butt into the studio and build a body of work. While you're doing the rest of the things, don't wait, okay? Here is an, an extra 5.5, an extra tip. Do not wait till you have one of them handled, fully handled, to go into the next one. It is the kiss of death. It is called analysis by paralysis, a.k.a. perfectionism, a.k.a. 
I'm just going to starve for the rest of my life and I'm not going to be selling my artwork type of artist. This has happened to me. I still fight with it. It's it's comfort. It really what it is. It's like I got to get this right. I got to get this right. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do really great artwork. Yeah, dude, but uh tip number 3 is choose an avenue. Have you chosen an avenue? No, no, I'll go and and go into the galleries or go online as soon as my artwork is ready. Uh, kiss of death. <laughs> Whoa, this was dark. Kiss of death. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Way too dark. It's not going to work, guys. Uh, why? Because you're waiting. The whole point of it is not to wait. It's to move. To move. While you're making your first painting, shit, I don't know. Record it. Put it on social media, right? You're see, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta swim it together. You got, yeah, this looks cool. You got, you got. It's like it's like fish swimming together. It's like a little school of fish. You gotta keep doing it together, okay? You can't be like, I gotta go make my body of work. World, wait for me. I'm gonna go into the studio. When I come out, I'm gonna be ready. Uh, no. You go into a studio, maybe for like an hour, two hours, whatever, whatever time you got. I don't know. Please don't use the excuse of time. We all have 24 hours. Make it work. I don't know. Get a babysitter. Get an extra two hours in your job, uh, day job. I don't know. Get a side hustle. I don't know. Sell a painting. Yeah, there's a... My, the little boys in my head says, sell a painting. Sell a painting for less than you are willing to accept right now. Just sell it. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, okay, I'm gonna run my, my five tips again very quick. Okay, for those of you who are like, dude, I just got in here. What are you talking about? Here we go. All right, brace yourself. Number one, number one, decide. Okay, these are the tips of selling your work. Okay, tips for selling your artwork by the world's greatest living artist, Jose Trujillo. Bam. Okay, I have to say that. Tip number one, decide that you want to sell your work. Decide, decide. This deciding doesn't mean thinking about it, hoping, wishing. Uh, think, uh, I don't know, think, 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 think. No, decision is not thinking. Decision is moving. It's moving from thinking to being or thinking to action. Okay? This is just my definition. I don't know if it's somewhere in the dictionary. When you make a decision, it's, it's, it's like, this is it. This doesn't mean that you can't change it or morph it later on. It does not mean that. It may, means that you have now made a choice. Okay? So decide that you want to sell your artwork. Disattach yourself from it. They're not your babies. Stop it, okay? Stop it. Stop it with that bullshit. Oh, they're my babies. Then, then then, don't be an artist. I don't know. Like, do something else. Like, make it a hobby. I don't know. They're not your babies. They they, they, they need to go somewhere else to a better life, to a better life. They can't, they can't stay in your studio. All right, enough with that. Tip number one, decide you want to sell your work. Tip number two, you got to build a body of work. This does not mean two, three, five paintings. It may mean 10, 20, 50, 100. I don't know. Do not wait till, you're, till, till you make them, okay? Have a body of work. Build it. Continue to build a body of work. Different sizes, different prices, different mediums. If you work in different mediums, whatever. Have a body of work, okay? Tip number three, choose an avenue. This is galleries, online platform, social media, whatever. Choose an avenue, okay? And go hard. Go hard. Go like a... Go like a... Like a local person. <laughs> Number four. Build a list or an audience first. First an audience, yeah. Build an audience, okay? Start showing up. Start showing up somewhere. You already chose the media, uh, uh, an avenue. This does not mean that you can't build an audience in a gallery, guys. Many artists still today have built their audiences in a gallery. Why? Because they do different gallery shows. It's not a single gallery. Come on. There's only so many people that go into a mom and pop gallery. But build an audience. Start going into the gallery and start talking to people. Collect those email lists. Be like, hey, by the way, if you like my work, sign, you know, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Get my, my, my newsletter, the, the classic, right? Get my newsletter. Whatever. But start building an audience. That's where you're, that's, that's the thing that's going to keep you moving later on. Okay, it's uh, I call it the Pearl Jam effect. Notice Pearl Jam doesn't sell to other people, only their audience. Only they're not trying to convert new people. I learned this from Seth Godin, by the way. Uh, tip number number five. Tip number five. Be patient while go, while moving hard. Okay, be very patient while you're moving hard. And this is a very 
Uh, it's a very zen approach. It's kind of like kick ass, you know, while being in a peaceful state of mind. The only way that I found that to, that works is when you are being highly responsible. When you're not like, oh my God, what should I do today? I don't know what I should do today, but I know I should be doing something of my five tips that Jose told me, right? And then you start doing it and then the, that, that anxiety goes away because you start moving. Anxiety comes out of fear, guys. And fear is triggered because you're not moving. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not fully in into an endeavor. That's where fear comes in, you know? That's why you, you hear heroes all the time, whether it was uh, military or whatever. They're like, I started moving and then time shrunk, right? They're in the zone, right? Time, it seemed like time stopped. And all of a sudden, like, I knew what to do, right? Because they're not thinking. They're not thinking. They're so focused in like survival mode or whatever that they're not thinking. And so, so they, they get like this strength. Right, they get the strength, this 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 high levels of strength. This is what you need. You need to go in hard, doing it all. Okay, five point five. Okay, this is an extra one. Like I told you, five point five. Keep doing it all. Okay, don't be like I'm gonna go do my work and then I'm gonna neglect the social media presence or or the the, the gallery or whatever you chose. Um. This doesn't mean I'm doing my social media and my work, but I'm not ready to build an audience because I'm afraid of showing up online. Boo-hoo. Then don't be an artist. I don't know. I'll do something else. Again, like, you need this, guys. I don't know how else to tell you. You need this. You need this. You've been dreaming about this shit since you were a kid. You know? Maybe. I don't know. I was. Uh, you wanted to be an artist. You wanted to show people your happy little paintings like this guy right here. Uh, so do it. Do it. Do it, do it. There's like a little voice back here. Like, do it, do it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, it's not the coffee, I swear. This is me on a regular basis. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. I hope that you guys start implementing this. This is mucho bueno. All right, bye-bye.